Hey guys, what's going on here? I thought I'd give you something a little bit interesting today. Well, at least I hope you find it interesting. I'm kind of going back into some older technology this week to kind of show you uh, not only a piece of new hardware, well, not really new, but um, new to my channel. It's a piece of hardware I've had around for a little while, and but a new piece of software that I've discovered that works really well with it. What is this? What am I using? What am I using it for? Well, stick around, I'll tell you all about it. Okay guys, welcome back here. So, what is this thing? Well, nowadays a lot of people just uh, use touch screens. They use their phones, they use their tablets, or they use something more high-end. Um, I got this a number of years ago. Uh, this is a Wacom Intuos 3 graphics tablet. Now, when I first bought it, it was about 400 bucks, and that was on eBay, and that was a that was a deal, considering what you were going to be able to buy it for from Wacom directly. Of course, nowadays this tablet right here, this is the 9 by 12 version, uh, comes with a mouse, comes with a grip pen, and it comes with some replacement nibs but nowadays you can find this for probably 100 or 150 dollars because and, and they have newer models they have newer models that do more things they have more sensitivity than what this one does this one has uh 1024 variable degrees of pressure sensitivity on the pen side and the eraser side so you can do a lot of really fine detail with this um it does come with, with a mouse that works with it, although, truth be told, I've never used the mouse. Um, I don't know really how good it is. I mainly got it for this, because I'm a doodle bug. Above all else, I am an artist. So I like drawing, I like doodling, and heaven knows I hate wasting paper. So I thought going digital would probably help save a few hundred sheets of paper that I would otherwise just ball up and throw away or use over and over or wear through with an eraser but you know how it is with with artists because you know it, it, it's what we use it, it's at least it's what sketch people use we, we go through lots of rough sketches every day in fact i went i went sketching all through my teenage years in fact i even went to college for a year took a figure drawing class Co college figure drawing classes are wonderful and but you have to approach it with a mature mind because one of the things that that they do in a college level art class is figure drawing. Well, figure drawing is what I signed up for. And you actually uh, study from life, real life. Yes, they do have models that come into the, the classroom. Anybody who knows the college goes to art class already knows all this stuff. And, and what's funny is that when I was going to this college class, you could immediately tell which people were serious about the class and which people were just there to look at the models. You can always tell those a mile away. So anyway, um, I've been using uh, programs like uh, Photoshop for a little while when I first started using this because at the time Photoshop was basically the best program for doing um, this kind of drawing. Now, ever since then, of course, Photoshop keeps going up in price and now they've gone to that cloud-based subscription service which i absolutely despise i cannot stand having a piece of software that you have to pay a monthly subscription for call me cheap call me budget-minded but you know hey i just can't afford it so i had to look for another alternative um one of the alternatives that kept coming up with a program called gimp which is an open source program and it has a plethora of features and i'm sure it's wonderful to use for some reason the learning curve was just way too steep for me because Let's face it, in this day and age, being, you know, having a family, having a job, you just don't really have as much free time as you want to in order to rise the learning curve of, of new software. Thankfully, I found um, another program recently that um, promises to be really useful, really handy with newer and older graphics, tablets, and drawing screens. Uh, it's a program called Krita. And if I'm mispronouncing it, please forgive me. I did a little research online, very tiny bit amount, trying to figure out what the, what was the actual, that, that exact pronunciation of it. As close as I could tell, it's called Krita. But you go to Krita, K-R-I-T-A dot org. And this is a free download. It's free to use. And this is for like drawing and painting. So it's not, you know, 
I don't want to say it's not for professionals, but I think it's accessible to everybody. That's, that's what I want to say. Any, anybody can use it. It's accessible to everybody. So whether you're doing something for college or a, now, now for a career, I'm sure there's probably other higher end drawing programs that you could probably get that cost money. But for, for the consumer level or for people who can't afford a professional level uh, drawing program, this one promises to be um, basically a really good place to get into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, show you how the screen looks. I'm going to switch this to where it's going to be uh, the camera pointing down at the tablet and then I'm going to have screen capture showing the screen and that way you can see how this program works when you're drawing on this tablet as it translates to the screen. Okay, so the way I've got things set up now is I've got the um, screen capture going on my OBS and then I've got my um, camera pointing down here at the graphics tablet so that way you can see exactly what's going on. Uh, first thing you want to do is, well, actually the first thing you want to do is you want to go to you want to go to Wacom's website. Okay, and we'll just close these because what I was doing earlier what you want to do is you want to go to support and what you're going to do is you're going to go to drivers and then depending on which um, thing you want to download for then it just it shows you what all there is available now for example for mine I'm using the Intuos 3 so for Windows this operates with Windows 7 8 and 10 this is fully compatible so you download the driver and you install it and then you run it. Okay, so then what you do is once you have a download, because I already have it downloaded, not there. Okay. I'll go Wacom Tablet Properties. Now if you notice, it says you have an Intel 3, 9 by 12 this is the one that I have. It has the functions and it has a grip pen. When you go to the grip pen, this tells you what all this does. So for example, I want to set this for back. I want to set this for forward. Now if you now I'm going to take this, I'm going to use my pen. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to if, look at where it says current pressure. See how it pressurizes. So you can do that. And then you go for the eraser. Turn over the eraser. And of course it's set to erase. And that's how you set that up. You do this for all applications. You could do it for just Photoshop or just for Krita, but I've got the set for all of them. So you close that. And once you have it all set, then you go back in here and we're going to, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our color and you have a nice big color wheel over here. You can set all the different colors. You can set your opacity, you can set your brush presets, your tool options. So we're going to go up here and we're going to move the size down. Probably do like two around five, four or five, right around in there. I think that's a good starting number. So what I want to see is just how good um, this operates. So we're just going to do, wow, check that out. So you do really light, it does a light line. And as you go harder, it makes a harder line as you let up. Which is kind of cool. So if you if you're doing shading, you want to start doing a little lighter, 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 lighter. Then you can do that all that accordingly. Which is really nice. Now here's the other cool thing. Now what I'm going to do, if you look down here, I've got my my buttons on my ta on this graphics tablet already set. So what I've got is I've got back, forward, and then for this, this is a touch strip, what you do is you can use this to zoom in and zoom out. So you can go in farther and do more detail. Okay, 
Look at this. Now when you go to the eraser, notice how when you press it in more, the circle gets bigger. It goes, I just want to erase it all, just rub it all out. And of course you got to zoom out a little bit. So we go, rub it out, rub it out. So let's see what other, so we'll go over here to our brush presets and wow, this thing has got like a ton. Look at this. Now I'm going to really have to play around with these. Crystals, block, fuzzy. I got ones like that. Ooh, calligraphy? Really? Oh, I guess this is for like if you want to do a star map. That's kind of cool. So what else we got? We got one of these. It's not too shabby. So I'm going to switch color. Say like I want to do a blue. So you just switch to a blue or you can do Man, you can have a lot of fun with this. So if you don't like it, you just hit that. Go save it. Nope. Go new. Okay, new one. And off you go again. Okay, so that's like just a really small uh, sampling of how the, the Krita program works. Again, it's if you go to krita.org, K-R-I-T-A.org, you can download this program and check it out for yourself. But as you can see, with an older tablet such as my Intuos 3, it works really well. Now granted, as you saw in the desktop, it was just a really high level overview. It's just my first impressions of it, but so far, just for ease of use, I have to say this is a very easy, very well-designed program that you can pick up and use for for drawing painting um that kind of stuff there's a lot of different brushes in there as you saw and i'm gonna have to go through and figure out what all is what and get them all sorted because that way i know exactly what it is i'm looking at i'm hoping there are some airbrushes in there because i think airbrushing would be kind of cool so if you if you want to pick up some now, now this especially for for people who have kids on computers and they want to do a lot of doodling you can get an inexpensive graphics tablet like this, download Krita, and let them go to town. Let them have fun with it. They can do it and paint to their heart's content. You can save it digitally. You can share it online. There's a lot of different um, uses for a program like this. So even, even if this program were to cost money, it would still be worth it just on the ease of use aspect especially for graphics tablets. So would I recommend this? Well, that's obvious. Of course I would, because I think this program is a really good artist tool. It's a really good canvas to create with, to draw with, to paint with, and have fun with. So I'll leave a link in the video description down below to create.org so where you can check it out and download it and see how it works for you. Like I said, it does work. Well, especially with Windows 10, which most everybody has nowadays, I believe it will work with 7 and 8 also. Just make sure you have the drivers for whatever input device you have. If you have anything about Wacom, just go to wacom.com, look in the support, download the drivers, get all set up through there, so that way you've got all your presets. And, and once you're all set, the creativity is endless. So I hope this was a little bit informative for you, maybe a little bit of, of enjoyable. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It's down in the corner down there. If you haven't already, go and click the subscribe button. It's over on the opposite corner. By now, you ought to really know where that subscribe button is. I mean, seriously, you haven't been around YouTube this long. But that's it for now. Any questions, comments, leave it down below. And I will catch you next time. As always, live a little random each day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care now.